I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like something. It looks like there's some sort of surface feature right in this region. Even just, I mean, it looks very minute. It looks very trace. But it caught my eye the first time and it catches my eye each time. So here we are pretty much lined up with it. Right about here. And this is what my phone is saying. Saying we're right on the fault line. Got the notebook. Got an apron for different rocks to hold on to. Probably not going to use that. Got Brenton. Shout out to my professor, Professor Vendrosco. That's for sand samples. A basic trowel and a uh, one of those foldable shovels. I think it's a, yeah, a tactical shovel. All right. X marks the spot. So this is almost solely for the soil sample. Um, this is a really difficult spot um, to start trenching, I would think. Um, not really necessarily because of the vegetation, but because of where it is. It is right off the trail. There are people. I don't want them to think I'm up to something weird. Um, but yeah, let's start digging. Ooh, what kind of spider is that? Hello, sir. Not trying to disrupt. I'll move you. So now for the soil sample. And I wish I had a little sifter. I gotta get one of those, but let's see. So I wanna sort this a little bit. Okay, so that is from one spot. Um, kind of tried to sort out the bigger pieces, and leave them. Yeah, there are also chunks of orthoclase in here. Micas. Um, I saw some plagio. It was that. I think that's a nice orthoclase in there. So this is something else I often see in this area. Um, I see it at my parents' house too. Specifically in that area that um, that the maps say the fault runs through. But um, you know, there's a fault running right through here. I don't know if that's just a random correlation. Um, but look how it looks like it has crystal structure almost. Um, I don't know why it's eroded that way. It's like it's got, I don't know, it's like it's got cleavage. But it's very cool. I, I wonder if that has anything to do with being in proximity to the fault or just the way erosion is working. I mean, we know that it's made up of bits of sediment that all have, you know, if it's any of the feldspars or, you know, um, hornblende or whatever, it's got cleavage. So is it maintaining that as like a cohesive unit? I do not know, but it's cool. So I'm trying to develop some healthy habits for when I'm in the field, and one of them is definitely note-taking. Um, obviously here I got the date, got the coordinates, got the orientation of the surface feature, and got some minerals that I've observed in the soil just with the naked eye. Of course, I will need that digital microscope. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap up here. I'm gonna fill in this hole, even though it's not that deep, and pack up.